Praise God, my name is Maxine Jogona. Uh, what a joy and a privilege to always join with you on this platform. And of course, we've been taking a journey in our country in terms of the elections period. And here we are because we are gearing up for the national elections that are coming up on the 9th of August, which is this coming Tuesday. Now, we want to take some time to tonight or this morning uh, as you join us from different places of the world for us just really to have a quick reflection of the times that we are in. The Bible says that the men of Issachar understood the times and they knew what they ought to do. Now, those men of Issachar did not just know the times, they did not just understand the times, but they also needed to know what to do. So that means understanding will always be followed by knowledge. Understanding is the capacity to have a, a, is a capacity to to have that a threshold of knowing what God is doing per season and per time. But knowledge is the power to step into that experience and have a physical and a practical experience of it. For instance, it is not enough to know that that we are going for an election period. That's the understanding of the times. That in, that's, that's the basis of understanding. But you need knowledge because it is knowledge where you are able to understand who should I vote for, who should I be able to gear up my vote to so that they can represent me in the national politics. So that's the level of knowledge. So as you go, as you go to the ballot box, it is not enough to know that I need to be voting. You need to step into the next level and ask the Lord, Father, give me the knowledge, give me the knowledge to know who I should vote for, how I should be able to practice my national, my national right in terms of the elections. The men of Issachar understood the times and they knew what they ought to do. The second thing that we need to understand in this period is that our country is in a shift we are in a shifting season because in these end times, God is preparing us for this end time move of God. And the mountain of politics and governance will be very strategic in terms of God being able to achieve his agenda in these end times. And so for this reason, God is beginning to raise Daniels and Esthers who are going to step into this mountain of influence to represent the, the legislation of the kingdom of God. The Bible says in um, Revelation chapter 11 verse 15, the seventh angel sounded his trumpet and there were loud voices in heaven which said, the kingdom of this world have become the kingdom of our Messiah and the kingdom of our God will reign forever and ever. Now listen to that verse. The Bible says the kingdom of the world, KJV will say the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and of his Messiah and he will reign forever and ever. We have a national government, a jurisdiction based on our physical context, but for those who believe, we have a higher government, which is the kingdom of God. It is, it is the season where God is calling the Daniels and the Esthers, the governors who will have the heart of God, MCAs who will have the heart of God, uh, uh, women representatives who will have the heart of God, the president who will have the heart of God, and by being there in representation, they will be able to pull down the kingdom of God to find expression upon the national territory. So what God is doing in this season is that he is releasing the kingdom into the kingdoms of this world. And how God does that is that he sends men and women who are going to legislate on his behalf. This is a sound to everyone who is going into this a mountain of governance and politics. You have the scepter to represent Jesus on that mountain. Whether you are going to serve in a parastatal, whether you are going to serve in government as a cabinet secretary, whether you are going to serve in government in terms of all the committees that work together to make sure that every national politic is achieved, you have the opportunity to bring the kingdom of God in that territory. So I share with you two reflections as we close. Number one, you must understand the times and you must know 
what to do. Number two, God is seeking for men and women who are going to represent him in this mountain of politics and governance so that the kingdom of this world, the kingdom of governance and politics can become the kingdom of our God and his Messiah. And he promises that when his kingdom comes, he will reign forever and ever. Oh, we are praying for our country and we're going to take a moment now and pray and just declare God's goodness upon God's people even as we go into the elections period. Father, we thank you for the country, Kenya. Thank you because this is a nation that is full of your grace, that is full of your power. Thank you for the positioning even in this East African region that, Father, you have placed this country in this season, such a time as this, so you may be able to release the revival that is coming onto the nations, to Africa and to the nations of the world. Father, even as our citizens come together in this week to vote, we pray, Father, that you shall give us the understanding to know how to vote and who to vote for. Holy Spirit, may you breathe your wisdom. May you breathe your grace upon us even in this season. And we pray that your kingdom come let your kingdom come upon the affairs of our, of our country, upon the politics of our country. Father, let your kingdom come to the glory and honor of your name. So God bless you and uh, we pray uh, for peace even in this season. Wherever you are, may you be an agent of peace. God bless you and we'll see you soon. Amen.